Okay, boys, first morning of PA archery season. Got my backpack on, got my bow, sticks, and I got my hang on. And I uh, got about five-tenths of a mile walk on a fire lane. And then uh, last tenth of a mile is uh, in the woods to a stand that I have that's set up near a swamp. So I'm off. I'll see you in the tree. out right now after the morning hunt and uh didn't see any deer but absolutely beautiful woods it's right next to a swamp got to watch geese all morning had a huge owl land in front of me i wish i could have got it on video but it was buried behind some trees and uh nice bright sunny skies now heading back to the truck um it's about six tenths of a mile i'm halfway there and uh then i'm gonna go do a little bit of scouting on a place that I think holds some potential, uh, not only for archery, um, but maybe also for gun. Okay, guys, we will see you on the next hunt. Have a great day. Stop pushing me into trees. Made it down that steep part. Holy. Did you go ice skating? Yep. Yeah. Ow. What'd you do? Thornbush. Oh. Biting me. Got her? Yep. Okay. How you doing, buddy? All right? Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about it that we're not going to pull the canoe up with that shit in it. Oh, hell no. I think we just take our time. Oh, yeah. Well, the only reason that seemed like in a rush because it was f***ing downhill and the canoe was going. Oh, I know. I saw you going with it. I'm like, okay. I'm going. You made her. So Lee and I are on the way, we're down in Pennsylvania, got the canoe off the truck and our containers for our clothes and our bows. Uh, we're paddling across the lake right now, we're hugging the shore until we get up into the mouth of the stream and then we're going to cut across so we're not canoeing across open water. It's going to take about 20 minutes to canoe up in there. We get up into that creek, I'm not sure how different it's going to be uh, because of the flooding that we had in the last two weeks. So we're going to take our time getting up into that creek, find a place to take the canoe and tie it off. And then uh, we're going to get our containers out and our bows and we're going to get dressed. And both of us have about 80 to 90 yards to walk up the creek. And then I'll go to the right to my stand and Lee's going to go to the left. So we'll see you guys when we're up in the stand. So what did you see this morning? That's all I saw. I only saw one squirrel, I saw zero deer. Four buck and three doe. One decent egg. One. Six. 
I just can't think of that close. I haven't seen any of them. Uh, we had lunch about 11, sat down, talked, made a game plan, and uh, we decided that this East Facing Ridge we were going to go ahead and uh, take a walk on and see if we could find any fresh sign. We found uh, a rub and scrape line that comes all the way across this ridge and it, the scrapes are all fresh and the rubs are huge. So Lee and I staked ourselves on opposite ends of this uh, ridge and uh, we're going to see if we can get lucky tonight. done before. Uh-huh. Got to see some cool shit. Learn about some of this for next year. I'm on the road heading to western Pennsylvania to my cousin's camp uh, for the opening weekend of 2022 BA rifle season. I uh, left this morning. It's pouring rain at home and as I'm traveling west, the temperature's dropping and I expect that this rain is gonna to change to snow in the next 30 or 40 miles. Anticipated weather this weekend looks awesome for opening weekend to PA gun season. Temperatures between like 24 and 35 for the weekend. Uh, chance of flurries, winds about 10 miles per hour. So I'm excited not only for the opening weekend of gun season, but also to spend some time with my cousins and family, relax at camp. Uh, more likely than not, we're gonna share a ton of laughs if we get deer, that's just a bonus. When does bear season end in PA? Is it I, still? It did. It did already. I think it came in on Saturday and ended on Tuesday. This past Tuesday. So there's three or four days, kind of things settle down right. after they've right. been pushing the shit Which out of the woods. Happen. I mean, that, that's the. I always say that's the biggest problem with our. How should I say this? Okay, so you. You scout your areas that you like, you know, say archery season, stuff like that. Right. You, you think, oh, this is a good spot. There's deer. I've got cameras up, this and that. Next thing. And then the wild card is bear season comes in. You know what I mean? And bear season up here is just a zoo. I mean, yeah. there's probably more guys up here in bear season than there is in deer season. Right. So now they got all the deer on high alert. They're going to the thickets. 
Yeah. And yeah. It, that just changes, that shuffles the deck. It you know? does. Well, in the big smart gear, too, they're not coming out of there for no, a while. No, no. That shuffles they're the going deck. Knocked on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. then you come back, you find all these spots you think you loved in archery season. Right. And the deer changed their patterns because of the pressure they got in yeah. the bear season. I saw two really nice buck this year in New York State. And one was a nice eight, really thick, you know, really wide, like three inches outside his ear. Yeah. And he went sprinting past me, chasing a doe 30 yards away, and then stopped 80 yards away for two hours and tended her. And what are you going to do with archery? Yeah. Sat there and watched, yep. watched him, That's you know. It. Yeah, and it's yeah, yeah, the third hurt. Give a little bit of privacy, did I? Well, I wanted to see the act. I can't walk. I, do I can't it. walk. <laughs> So with all this forest, how do you decide what track to step into? I mean, it's got to be overwhelming. It is, but I, I live for this shit, so all I do is just go for walks. Yeah. Sure, I look at Google Maps, but I do it. Now. I try to figure out what's easy access for other people. And then I figure, where can I go where those people hopefully will be like here and I can get to Right. Them. I can make sure we got tax for coming in tomorrow morning in the dark. Make sure it's easy to get in and find where we're sitting. Yeah, I know for sure. Most of my clothes are getting bungee cord to my backpack. That's not the only good thing. I'll roll everything up yeah. on drummer. <laughs> Walk in and get dressed when I get into the stand. I think that those are in time. As long as you find it up here, you're always in the right area. Yeah, just the, I think here we are. Opening weekend of PA rifle season. Nine guys at camp. Two guys have already got their PA buck this year during archery. Uh, so one of the guys, Steve, is coming out with me this morning. Two sets of eyes. Definitely makes it a lot easier to see right and left and up and down. Um, excited to get out here. Uh, came out and took a look at where I'm sitting yesterday. It's on a steep face, a bunch of hemlocks, all sorts of oaks. Uh, there's a couple trails that come across a steep face above and below me. So I just finished eating an energy bar. I was putting the wrapper back in my backpack up to my left and there's a spike staring at me 30 yards away going trying to figure out what the heck I was he blew and bounded off about 40 yards and then took off downhill and about five minutes after that I had uh, a doe being chased by a small buck and then a fawn chasing both of them ran up the hill about 120 yards away from me and got up to the top of the hill and turned around and ran back down so just being out and enjoying the woods wildlands that some other people may have never stepped on before. People stepped here before. Nice little bench, nice little backrest. I just walked across this bench which is in between these two real steep faces. There's a great deer trail on it and down below here I saw the perfect example of a fresh buck bed probably sometime this morning he's got his back to the steep face he's able to look down into the woods below him he must feel pretty safe there would have been nice if I could have crept over the edge and he was still laying in that bed but either way I had lunch at this beautiful spot and lighten up the clothes, find a place to sit for the afternoon. I'm going to sit up on that rock so I can see the woods above this patch of hemlocks and below this patch of hemlocks. And I'm looking directly onto that fresh scrape, only 25 yards away. Steve, you all right? Hey. Some don't agree with me. Can't be the bigger than like you one on one, Steve. Should you and I just rest and stay home? Can we just rest and sleep in tomorrow? Thank you. You're not feeling good. Maybe I better just stay here with you. The beginning of the road's not too bad. Looks like a couple people have already been out here. Well, I am up and off day two. Uh, camp yesterday, seven guys hunting. We got one deer, uh, five point. Uh, buddy Stan got that first thing yesterday morning, which was cool. He had the rest of the day to sit around camp and have some beers. Uh, not a lot of deer seen yesterday, um, considering the entire day. Not really a ton of shooting, especially since it was also uh, doe 
Uh, first time in PA opening day yesterday too. Got about four inches of snow last night. I'm back close to a spot that I was hunting yesterday where I found a ton of sign where deer were feeding around some white oaks. Found a nice big boulder that I'm gonna sit on that gives me like 360 degree view, like 70, 80 yard shots. Uh, here's where it's gonna get interesting. Tight road, one lane, three inches of snow. First one out here this morning. Four wheel drive, take my time. do it for opening weekend to PA. Absolutely beautiful weekend. Great snow. I uh, wish we would have got more deer. Uh, nine guys in camp. Two already had their archery deer. Uh, seven of us hunted and uh, one guy got a deer and uh, the rest of us had great laughs. Awesome weekend. Got some time to share together and uh, now we're all headed home and back to work. I'm going to hunt Pennsylvania this morning in a place that Lee and I scouted this summer. A uh, place that I've got a canoe in about a mile and then it's just over a half mile walk to the spot I'm going to sit. I'm sitting on the side of it. Uh, east facing ridge with a northwest wind uh, looking down in a bedding area below me and sitting in all oaks where the deer come up to feed. I'm excited because of the fact that not a lot of people can get to this spot and uh, we saw some good deer sign when we were in there in archery. seven doe come up but they were like 150 yards away through the woods so after they went through I picked up my stuff and moved about 100 120 yards across this ridge closer to the point we'll see if it makes a difference I sat for about five minutes 
Woods. Saw that there was a little bit of a bench that I could sit on, so I could see down over the edge. I wasn't able to see that where I was sitting before, so I popped back down about another 90 yards and I'm sitting right on the tip of a bench where I can see down into all this thick bedding below me, and I can see up to the point that's coming down the ridge to this thick stuff. Within five minutes of doing that, 